fucking hoes and popping pillies, man, I feel just like a rock star. Hey, what's up guys, FusionAid here, and I'm back with yet another news video. Since I'm starting to do these gaming news videos more often, I decided I'm going to turn this into a series. So with that, welcome to the first episode of FusionAid's Today in Gaming series. In this series, I plan on uploading a daily news video regarding gaming from Monday through Friday alongside any other content I've planned for those days. There's a lot happening in the gaming world, and this ensures that I always keep my subs up to date with the gaming world, and that I will always have content for you guys no matter what. As the series goes on, the content and production value of these videos is going to get better and better as this whole thing can be a learning experience for me as a growing content creator. I hope you guys enjoy this, and without further ado, let's get started. Today, we're going to discuss something that Ubisoft's CEO mentioned in an investor's call. According to this call, Ubisoft as a company believes that the next generation of Xbox and PlayStation consoles is a minimum of two years away. Bear in mind that Ubisoft got no insider information from Microsoft nor Sony, so this is pretty much just a guess. However, since Ubisoft is such a huge name within the gaming industry, this is definitely an educated guess and there's no way such a big publishing company won't be able to make a good estimate. Take it with a grain of salt, but I'm with him on this one. When he says the next generation of consoles, we're not talking about console upgrades here like the PS4 Pro or Xbox One X. Microsoft and Sony just released more powerful 4K ready versions of their flagship consoles, but this isn't a new generation yet. Other than the upgraded hardware, the PS4 Pro is still the PS4 and the Xbox One X is still an Xbox One. When the Ubisoft CEO is talking about new generation, he means PlayStation 5 and the next Xbox. I'm not even going to guess what the next Xbox is called, Microsoft is really random with their naming scheme. Many believe, however, that there might not be a PlayStation 5 in a new Xbox. Instead, Microsoft and Sony might just continue down the path of upgrading each respective console forever with new updated hardware instead of creating completely new machines. I personally would prefer completely new consoles, but I'm sure just upgrading the hardware would save Microsoft and Sony lots of time and money. Let me know down below in the comments what you would prefer they do. It's very early to be thinking about the next wave of consoles, especially since the Xbox One X just launched two days ago, and we've only had the Xbox One and PS4 for four years compared to the 360's eight year cycle. Some people like to think the new consoles are coming sooner than two years, but Ubisoft's CEO is very involved within the gaming industry, and based off his knowledge and expertise, it seems likely that the consoles are two or more years away. Anyway, thanks for tuning into today's episode of Today in Gaming. Let me know down in the comments below what you think about all this, and be sure to hit that like button to help support the channel. Subscribe if you want to catch more awesome content in the coming days, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode.